And I as a showcase is just a chance to invite people to come out and see you for the last time before Worlds and I think it'll like pump us up and build some confidence. So Reckless is also part of the showcase that we're going to be having tonight so it's going to be fun. Today is the day, today is the showcase, that final performance. So it's kind of a crucial performance because you know you go into it hoping that it is that confidence booster. You go into it hoping like okay this is the last one we need to hit at home before we go to all the way to Orlando and try to hit. And so, I don't know, it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking. Going into the weekend, we need as much support as possible. And because so many of the families are not going to be traveling with the kids, and uh, so many of the friends are not going to be there to support them, uh, Reckless is a good uh, way to fill that void. We want to prove not only to other people and to our coach, but to ourselves that we have the ability to hit when we're in front of a crowd. This is toe touches, do three sets, hurry, partner up, straight knees and point toes. We always come in a little bit early before a showcase, um, you know, to see what the final edit needs to be before we go to the showcase, and whatever we do today at showcase is what we're going to be showing at the World Championships. Showcase is important because we want to hit in front of a crowd and we want to feel confident heading into this weekend. Last weekend we got um, a comp tally finale, and day one we had the bobble and the music went off during the stunts. Day two, we didn't do as well as we expected. We had three deductions, and we didn't hit day two, which was our main goal. Eddie always tells us that we're only as good as our last performance, so it's really important for us to do good today, and I'm pretty confident in the team today. The kids have had plenty of time to perfect these skills, and whatever is not hitting now the day of our send-off just doesn't need to be in the routine. We're down to the wire. We need to make whatever edits need to come out and we need the kids to be 100% confident going into the World Championships. Today, shh, focus on your skills, clean performance. Remember, all the people in Orlando don't matter. Like, everything outside of the blue nine panels doesn't matter, okay? It's you guys, the people that put in the work, the people that put in the sacrifice, the people that came in, the people that cried, the people that wanted to quit, the people that did quit and came back, the people that bled. left, the people that bled, cried, broke their nose, broke their, whatever, you, at the end of the day, you're all standing here. And this is what matters. It's the last performance with the team, like, other than world, so it's, like, pretty sad. Like, the season went by so fast. Now that we're, like, about to go to Worlds, like, I think back to, like, when it was just summer, and we're all, like, just getting to know each other. <laughs> and I like to pull I like to pull it away. <laughs> She likes Enrique. That's what we're <laughs> <laughs> Why are you blushing? Oh, Jesus. It was just like really weird. Like, I just remember like when I was little, like always looking up to the Samoa kids, and now it's like being one of the people I used to look up to. So it's really cool. So, this is my first year at Cali, and it's also my first year on a team with this high of a caliber. Um, it's, it's been really exciting, it's been really tough on me but it's also been a, it's like a roller coaster. From being an alternate to not really having a chance with all the boys coming in, and now I'm here at the end of the season with the team, it's just really amazing. It's my last time performing with all the boys on the team, and I've really got to know them all well. Basically, after, right after Worlds, like, after day two, like, three of the four boys are leaving. Like, me and Fred are going back to Canada, and um, Jonah's gonna go back to Michigan. Go back to our countries can be like hard saying bye to everyone. So Matthew lives with me and we're really close. And World is gonna be the, like the last time I see him, so I'm, I'm not really looking forward to them. We just like, I think we're really close, like as much as we can say that we're brother and sisters and like they will always be like my family. It's gonna be pretty sad, so he's not gonna be able to come back for a banquet or anything. He's leaving right after Worlds. I'll miss everyone, and I'm pretty sure they will miss everyone, too. The rest of you guys bring it in. And whatever happened right before that last run was great. 
So we need to bring out that energy, okay? When you step on the floor. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, keep your hands where I can see them. Somebody's touching me. Oh, thank you guys for coming. But we're going to start, you can do it at work. Oh, you guys just shut it down, literally. We just finished our full out and the power went out. We went to circle up and pray and the power went out. So we can turn on your iPhone cameras. We will be, sorry, your iPhone flashlights. I don't think we lost app. power. I think we shut it down. Oh, they shut down. At least they didn't shut it down before the oh, drink I is allowed. I think I, think I would have yelled. Yikes. Are you doing anybody more? We have a showcase scheduled in about an hour, and they're saying that the lights probably won't come back on until 10 p.m. tonight. So um, we're going to call the electric company and see what the deal is. Well, hello. I mean, all the other buildings, or is it just us? I'm going to go check over here. You know what sucks is a lot of the other buildings at night aren't here anyway. We wouldn't know. This is going to suck. There's definitely an alarm going off, so maybe we should just call. This is really stressful. We have kids that are coming from all over. I've gotten messages all day about kids that are driving hours to come and see their send off. So um, I would hate for this to be canceled, but you know, it's beyond our control. I'm like, I said, we're going full out. We're gonna, <laughs> guys, we're gonna have a candle lit. Showcase, put your lighters up. <laughs> this is gonna be what we're using for Smoa. Go guys. Everyone's going crazy. Relax, y'all. It's just light. Come on. Hopefully, we'll turn back on. We will see. Do you have a light? And the Lord said, let there be light. Yeah. Andrea, she's a witch. She's a witch. Burn her. The it's lights light. are back on. Eddie, you can finally <laughs> calm down. Girl! Girl! What? This is what happens during World's Week. I'm really excited for showcase today. It's our last time going to Law the gym. And I don't know, I'm just really excited for all the kids I've never been able to experience a world send off before that they get to just come in and like do this with us and it's our kind of our last thing in the gym with our family and friends before we depart the world, so I'm really excited. It's, it's kind of nerve wracking. I mean, we all got friends and family here. It's like, it's for people who can't, who can't go to Worlds or who aren't going to Worlds, you know, to see us for the last time. I try not to think about it. We just want to make a great full out, feel great about the performance and at the same time hit it. Next we have Smellhead, our four-time world champions. We're actually in a unique situation and we're actually the first team in the co-ed divisions to actually win four, four titles back to back to back to back. And God willing, we're going for our fifth title. So keep your hand over us. The showcase, I just feel like it kind of sets us up to where we're gonna be at World. So the way we perform here in front of um, like our friends and family at Showcase carries on to how we're gonna feel going into competing at Worlds. Michelle! Our first year, Ari! Another OG veteran, Maddie Crisello! From Michigan, we have Mattio! From Mexico, we have Enrique! And from Michigan, we have Jonah!
Perform! Let's go, boys! Be big! Smollett and Reckless just had two great performances. From where they were last week to where they're at today, completely night and day. It's just been really good, it's fun crying. <laughs> and just like hearing everybody. And like knowing how I'm not feeling busy, I'm like, ah! <laughs> They just came together as a team and did exactly what I asked them to do, is just, just be a team out there. Just be a unit, just be a true family and things will fall into place for them. And I'm really happy that I've gotten to know all these people and I get to share the memories of going to Worlds with them this year. Thank you so much for taking your time today to really support these teams. We're super blessed, super excited. Thank you again, parents. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you for entrusting us with your kids and just letting us produce this ama these amazing results. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking your time today. Great. At Cal Finale, I told Samoa, you're only as good as your last performance, and that is the truth. But, you know, they came back, they came back swinging, and they put out a great performance tonight, and I'm very proud of them. Thank you guys for watching Cheerleaders. Don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Thank you.